in addition to our recommendations to countries, I'm also calling on civil society organizations, including those with experience in working with people living with HIV, to work with us on fighting stigma and discrimination. But with the tools we have right now, we can stop transmission and bring this outbreak under control. I thank you. And Christian, back to you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tedros. Let me now open the floor for questions from the media. Um, again, just to remind you to get into the queue for asking questions, you need to raise your hand with the raise your hand icon. And then please don't forget to unmute yourself. We have a couple of questions already lined up and we'll start uh, with Kai Kupferschmidt from Science. Kai, please unmute yourself. Yes, thank you very much for doing it on the panel. And I guess we'll start with Dr. McGuire. Uh, thanks, Kai. Um, I don't pretend to, what, to know what's in the Director General's mind, but in, in, in conversation, uh, it's it, it's quite clear from the uh, from from the DG's perspective that uh, yes, you are correct. Uh, the, the DG always listens to and tries to concur with the findings of uh, the uh, the committee, and in this case. He's not going against their advice or findings. Uh, he found that the committee did not reach a consensus, despite having a very open, uh, very useful, very considered debate on the issues. Uh, in that sense, he's not going against the committee. What he's recognizing is that there are deep complexities in this issue. There are uncertainties on all sides. Uh, and he's reflecting that uncertainty in his determination uh, of the event to be a fake. Uh, and in that sense, I think Kai, to answer the second part of your question, I believe what he hopes we can go do from here is to intensify our efforts. He sees a window of opportunity to uh, to bring this disease under control. Uh, he sees that we can uh, redouble our efforts. We can act together in science, together in solidarity, in support of those.